Hi guys, I'm back in the studio. Haven't been here for about two weeks, so I feel slightly like I've not been doing any sewing, because I haven't. Um, but I, ages ago, promised to make my mum a dress. I got as far as doing the first toile. I took it to her to fit, and I now have to actually figure out what I'm doing about making the dress itself. But the one thing I haven't done is try to sort out the sleeves. So I thought I'd just talk you through the actual toile and the adjustments that I'm making because it's quite interesting in terms of proportion and then I'm going to experiment a bit with some sleeve designs on the actual toile and we'll see how we go. That's what I'm doing today so I'm just going to film it and hopefully it's of interest to you guys. So this is the dress and I know it's white on white which is a little tricky for you to see but hopefully you can figure out what's going on. So um, this is an ad a slightly adapted version of um, the Vogue pattern that I actually made last summer for a friend of mine in a silk you can see that video if you click on the link in the top corner now. Um, the pattern I've adjusted slightly because this is for my mum, um, who is a very elegant lady in her 60s, and she we didn't want some of the kind of key features of the dress. So in the original, let me just find the pattern. So there are a few things that we just wanted to change. So the neckline is actually very narrow. It doesn't look it here, but it's quite a long, narrow scoop. So we wanted to kind of spread that, make it a bit wider because my mum is a jeweler, she makes jewellery and she has beautiful jewellery that's quite big. So she wanted enough space that she could um, display it effectively. The other thing is that these shoulders are actually quite cut in. So there's quite a big gap between the edge of your shoulder and where the dress starts. And my mum definitely wanted sleeves on this. So one of the things I had to do is redraft the top bodice so that the sleeve came out to the right point so that I can attach sleeves to it. Otherwise though, it's pretty much the same. So I kept the bottom two, so from sort of this, this bust line down, the patterns as it comes out of the packet. Um, but then I redrafted this top section based on a bodice block that I'd already done for my mum over the summer last year. So I had all of her measurements and I had a bodice block that was specific to her. So I used that to draft it. Um, and then I went over Easter and I fitted it to her. So this is the, this is the toile I made for my mum. And Sorry, it's very creased, uh, but it actually fitted remarkably well. So there were very few adjustments that we needed to make to fit. She's got a bit of a sway back, so I'm going to sort that out at the back. But the other things, I the neckline looked great, and we, as you can see, it's quite a lot wider than it is on the thing, and the arms have um, the arms have been brought right out here. But the other thing to say is that one of the important things about this dress, it's going to be in the beautiful blue silk that I bought a little while back. And if you want to see that video, it's in the top corner now. Um, because it's a, it's a very plain fabric and um, you will therefore, the style lines on this dress will be really important. It's what's going to make it interesting and give it kind of um, movement and, and make it more than just a plain silk dress. But they are divided into quite specific points and um, unless you get those bang on where they should be on the person's body it can look quite out of proportion. So the bust line actually sits really nicely on my mum and it's a fi it fine, it fits fine. But this line, and I found this was exactly the same when I made it for my other friend and she, I suppose they're both similar height actually, sort of five foot five-ish, so it's probably made for someone with a slightly longer torso. Um, but this this line here, which comes down and hits the, the point where the skirt attaches, for me, the outside point here um, needs to sit on your, exactly on your low hip at the widest point, because that's the point at which it's gonna hit your body, and the lines naturally make you look out to that point. So if it's sort of slugged down a couple of inches, it just looks funny. Um, so one of the things that we've done is brought this up um, a couple of inches and slightly change the angle on it so it will hit right at the widest point of the low hip. Um, the other point is that this distance should really be right so that your the point at which it's breaking for me should be about belly button height on this pattern um, and again it was a couple of inches lower than that and it just puts it in a really strange place. Um, it's one of those things that you could look at the dress and think it looks absolutely fine um, but as soon as you've corrected it it looks a billion times better. So it's quite an interesting it's quite an interesting example in proportion and where your lines sit on, a, on an outfit as to where you want to where you want to um, make adjustments. So when you're doing a toile and you're trying to looking for fit, don't just think about fit in a kind of three dimensional, is it fitting my body shape way, but also actually are the style lines sitting where they need to, because um, it does make a big difference to the way the thing looks at the end. Uh, I'll just show you the back. So this, as you can see, has Sharpie pen all over it. And that's because this is the wedge that's gonna get taken out 
for the sway back adjustment or at least she has a hollow back um, and I've also drawn in where I know the back zip's going to need to sit. So that's it as it is. The big thing at the moment is that I've not put any, I haven't put sleeves on this at all and I need to do that before I go in to try and make the final dress because obviously it might have, there might be adjustments to the actual shoulder line. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a quite loose not a fluted sleeve but quite a light sleeve that's very that's short I mean it's going to be a summer dress anyway but the whole idea of it is that it's quite flowing and it has that kind of silk quality on it it's all cut on the bias so I'm thinking it needs to be a sort of interesting like a like a light sleeve it doesn't want to be too kind of straight or long and I'm thinking of echoing these um, sort of inverted V shapes and have almost the sleeve cut out in a triangle on the top just to kind of echo that shape and make it look like it fits with the dress um, but sleeves are my nemesis, I hate drafting them and um, I've never yet managed to get one right first time so this could be interesting but I'm going to have a go and see whether I can um, get this to work and uh, we will see how we get on. fine but I'm not that excited about it so I'm gonna try and do a more fluted version with a bit more um, uh, fabric at the base to kind of flute it out of it so it reflects the fluting of the skirt and just see how that looks. the first sleeve that I drafted which is a regular sleeve shape you can see and this is the fluted sleeve that I've just drafted so essentially what you do is cut um, vertical lines through your sleeve pattern at regular intervals and insert sections of paper to create a much wider bottom edge. The top edge is exactly the same size as it was on that one. Uh, the bottom edge has been extended significantly which should give you that nice fluting effect so I'll cut it out and have a look and see how it goes. So I've put it on because it's a little easier to see with an arm in it than it would be on my dress form where I don't have an arm, but these are the two sleeves. So there's this one, which you can see is just a very basic straight sleeve, and this one, which is the one that I've flared ever so slightly. 
can see there's just more kind of fullness and um, stuff in this one. And I definitely prefer this one, I think is my um, overarching opinion. And when you can see it on the full dress, it echoes the, um, the fullness that you have in the skirt, which actually looks really nice and adds a little bit of kind of femininity to the top half, which I think is really pretty. So I've sent photos to my mum to see what she thinks, but I think this one is definitely the way to go. And you could even go more fluted than that, but I quite like that it's quite a subtle thing and from the front you can see that it hangs and you get a bit of movement in it which I quite like so I think that's the so I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go this way result